Busia, napanga kujenga nyumba elfu tano hapa Busia hii teso yenu hii teso south ndio naanza nayo tayari nime award contract ya nyumba elfu moja hapa milimani hapa karibu na kwenu hapa na mimi nahitaji vijana pale na munisikize vizuri nyinyi vijana nahitaji vijana pale kwa hizo nyumba elfu tano tunahitaji vijana elfu kumi kwa kufanya kazi ni muna nielewa pale iko kazi ya architect iko kazi ya engineer iko kazi ya quantity surveyor iko kazi ya electrician iko kazi ya plumber iko kazi ya eh, carpenter iko kazi ya mason hata ya mkono iko kazi na mimi nataka niwaulize wazazi kuna viongozi wengine wa haya mashule wanaenda kule wanamwambia mzazi ati pesa ya serikali haijafika wewe lipa Sasa musikie kutoka kwangu. Kwa sababu hawa watu watawachana na hiyo tabia mbaya. Ya kuuliza wazazi walipe pesa na ili hali serikali imetoa pesa. Wacha nirudie. Serikali ya Kenya hii Januari sio ya last year, hii Januari tumetoa bilioni sitini na mbili ya kusomesha watoto wetu wa Kenya shule ya primary school shule, eh, pesa ya primary school pesa ya secondary school pesa ya tvet pesa ya university mpaka pesa ya basari ambayo wabunge watatumia kupatia basaris watoto wetu mambo ya matibabu ni mambo ya muhimu sana kwetu sote kuna watu hawana pesa ya kulipa NHIF Si ni kweli? Kuna watu hawawezi kupeleka watu wao katika wakiwa na kanza hawawezi kupeleka watu wao hospitali kwa sababu gharama iko juu. Na ndio sababu mimi niliwaahidi tutabadilisha mfumo wa afya katika Kenya. Sasa tuko na sheria mpya ine ya kuhakikisha kwamba mambo ya afya inafikia kila mkenya wale wa chini zaidi yule mtu ambaye huna uwezo wa kulipa bima ya afya ya NHIF sasa serikali ya Kenya itakulipia yule uko na uwezo kiasi ulikuwa unalipa shilingi tano sasa tutakupunguzia ikuje shilingi tatu. Na pia tuko na hazina maalum sasa. Tunaweka pesa kwa hazina maalum ya kutibu magonjwa kama kansa, ile hypertension, ile uh, uh, diabetes, ile magonjwa iko na kisirani na kiburi. Tuko sasa na hazina maalum ya kukabiliana na janga hilo. Na hiyo mpango yote tumeweka kama serikali ya Kenya. Na mimi nawauliza jameni 
wale wenzetu kama mimi na wengine ambao tuko na bima comprehensive insurance cover tusipange njama ya kuzuia ati hawa watu wadogo wasipate bima yao ambayo inatoshana na mfuko yao ama wale hawana tusiwalipie ni mnanielewa jameni si tumesema tunataka Kenya ambayo kila mtu kila mkenya atajivunia ata, ata mbona watu wengine wanataka Kenya ya wachache kujivunia na wengi kuvumilia ile tumebadilisha sheria ya CDF mimi nimezunguka duniani kule nimeenda Marekani nimeenda Ujerumani nimeenda Canada nimeenda Faransa nimeenda UAE nimeenda Saudi wamekubali kwamba wafanyikazi wa Kenya ni wafanyikazi wa muhimu sana. Vijana wetu wa Kenya wanaongea Kiingereza kizuri, wana, wamesoma vizuri na wanahitajika kufanya kazi duniani kote. Ndio sababu hiyo tumebadilisha sheria ya CDF. Sasa CDF haitakuwa inajenga shule peke yake. Pia tutatumia kujenga ICT hub. Katika kila ward tutajenga mahali hao wabunge wataweka pesa ya kujenga mimi nitalete kompyuta vile muliona katika manifesto yetu tuliweka kitu inaitwa digital super highway ni kwa sababu tunataka kupanga digital jobs mliniona juzi kitale vijana tayari wanapata pesa ya madola kila wiki nilikuwa game vijana wanapata pesa already Tunataka kila ward tuwe na vijana 300,000 wanapata pesa kila wiki kwa kutumia mtandao internet katika kufanya kazi ile inaitwa remote jobs in different parts of the world. Mtu unaweza kuwa hapa Amukura lakini unafanya kazi kampuni iko Marekani na unalipwa hapa Amukura. Hii Kenya haiwezi kubadilika kwa mambo tu ya hewa. Itabadilika kwa kupangwa vizuri. And we must be deliberate. We must be intentional about how we create jobs, where we create jobs, and how those jobs are going to reach ordinary citizens at the grassroots. Na hiyo ndiyo mpango tuko naye na vijana mmenisikia vile nimesema hapa Busia na nawaambia vijana wote wa Kenya. That is our deliberate plan on how to create jobs. Ile gharama kubwa ya mbolea ilikuwa elfu saba, tumeipunguza imekuja elfu mbili na mia tano. Na mimi nataka niwaulize wakulima wa Kenya. Tayari tumeweka mpango maalum. Wale walikuwa wanatumia gunia moja kwa ekari moja, mimi na wasihi mutumie magunia mawili kwa sababu serikali tumehakikisha kwamba iko mbolea ya kutosha. Hivyo itatusaidia kuongeza productivity na tuzalisha chakula ya kutosha kwa sababu tatizo la Kenya kubwa ni kwamba bado tunaagiza chakula kiasi kikubwa kutoka nje tunatumia karibu bilioni tano kila mwaka kuagiza sukari mchele mahindi edible oil na vyakula zingine na tunatumia pesa zetu za kigeni kuagiza chakula ambayo tunaweza kuzalisha hapa nyumbani. Na ndio sababu mimi nataka niwaulize wakulima wengi wote katika taifa letu la Kenya to increase our productivity na serikali ya Kenya tutahakikisha kwamba tunawapatia mbegu, tunawasaidia kupunguza gharama ya mbolea, tumekubaliana pia tutaongeza pesa katika Agricultural Finance Corporation ndio wakulima wetu wapate pesa ya mikopo ya kuendesha kilimo na tumekubaliana vile 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 nilienda India sasa tumepata billion tano kuagiza matractor ambayo itatusaidia katika kilimo katika taifa letu la Kenya tumekaa na viongozi wote sisi tukajua shida yetu ni network shida yetu ni nini Si rais anasemanga kila siku. Shida ya oteso ni nini? Lakini wakati hii rais sisi tumekaa chini tumeongea na tukasema wacha tuhesabu kila ambacho kimefaidi wateso tangu uhuru. Kuhesabu hiyo vitu yote. Tukasema sasa tuseme nani alifanya. 
tunakuta kwamba yote ilikuja wakati wewe ulikuwa waziri ya kilimo wakati wewe ulikuwa deputy president na saa hii wewe bado uko na sisi na kwa sababu hiyo mheshimiwa rais hao watu wako mbele yako tumepeleka hawa na tumepelekana sasa network yao iko sawa sawa haiwezi anguka tena all leaders here we are announcing to you that our god is a god of good plans mipango yake ni mipango mizuri mawazo yake ni mawazo mazuri Anaye tutakia kama Mungu tuishi katika amani, katika ushirika, katika akili, katika busara, tutiane nguvu, tujengane, tubarikiwe pamoja, tule pamoja kwa utukufu wake. Wapenda wa Mungu, siku ya leo mali hapa ni siku ambayo Mungu ametuandalia kwamba sote pamoja katika hali yako, katika ukuu wako, katika utukufu wako, kazi ni kushuka. Rais ameshuka mpaka umbali huu na we unashangaa Yeye man mambo ya kuuliza mtu mambo yake wakati mwingine haina maana. Amechagua kumpenda Mungu, kumtumikia Mungu na rasilimali zake na moyo wake na akili zake na nguvu zake. Hata Yesu alituambia, kwa tumpende Mungu, Yesu alisema nini? Tumpende Mungu kwa nguvu zetu, mawazo yetu, mali yetu na akili. So he is trying to fulfill what God wanted him as a leader to do within his people. So tumekuja leo viongozi na wananchi wa eneo hili ombi langu ni kwamba ikiwa Mungu tayari mtumikia ni Mungu wa amani katika uongozi nao pia Mungu huyu wa amani azidi kuonekana. Ikiwa Mungu tayari mtumikie ni Mungu wa amani familia zetu tuitishe Mungu wa amani akae katika hizo familia ili sote pamoja tufurahie maisha ya kwa wanadamu. Amen. Usio ndio unaanza shida, unaanzisha jamu la kutatanisha, la kuna kwamba amani ivunjike mali hapa utajibu siku moja. Tunaambia kwamba kila mtu habari zake mbele za Mungu atazitoa. Afadhali umwambie Mungu Mungu nilisahau unisamehe, lakini sio kwa mwana anakuambia wewe ulifanya makusudi. Samia ndugu wako pole pole kimoyo moyo kwamba ndugu huyu naye pia Mungu kama na mpango mzuri na yeye tuzidi kukaa kata kusemezana let us talk together let us share together and all of us let us be blessed together because our god is a god of blessings one your excellency you promised us the issue of the university do we have the university alupe university si iko ile kwa ndani ya busia economic blueprint your excellency we want to appreciate that the dry port at malaba was part of that particular intervention we thought we were going to have it. Your Excellency, I also want to mention in appreciation that the Nasewa Industrial Park was supposed to spur the issue of economic growth in this particular area. And Busia is a great area. Your Excellency, you did commit to pay 250 million as a national contribution to this cause. And I think Kazi Nendelea. Sisi tunafraa kama jamii na mweshmiwa rais nataga ni seme leo kwa amba kuona jamii ya hapa kwa umoja vile wanaruti wote kwa serikali hiyo ndiye imefurahisha roho yangu chipikie makofi nyinyi wateso mbeleni walikuwa ni watu ambaye walikuwa wanapenda na wanachua serikali ni gani sisi jamii ya obukusu ndio tulikuwa tu opposition tukiopose lakini vindu vichenjanga ra Isuetu William Ruto amecharibu. Alikuta serikali hii imeangushwa kwa mambo ya economy. Economy ilikuwa chini. Na pesa ila anapata kidogo vile kucharibu kwake na vile ametembea wengine walikuwa wanasema ati anatembea anatembea kutembea nini na analeta at least analeta ile inasaidia sisi wa Kenya. Amefufua uchumi inainuka kila siku tukiona. Madeni ilikuwa wamekula pesa wale na hawakuwa nalipa. Na kuambia rais, hapa teso ni kwako nyumbani. Umeanza na sisi mbali sana na ujawahi tuatilia. Hata wakati tuliteleza, unajua mtoto anaweza kateleza. Lakini akirudi kuomba msamaha, unamkumbatia.
hawa wananchi wa Teso wamesema wamerudi kwa serikali na watatembea na wewe na mimi sitaongea mengi hapa nimekuomba ruhusa utupatie siku tukuje tuseme na tuokoke vizuri publicly hii mambo tumalizie hapo na kwa hivyo wewe ukiwa hapa ujisikie huko nyumbani mheshimiwa rais jamii ya wateso wanakuomba county the teso county kama president wetu ninakuheshimu kama president wetu na tunakukaribisha kwa mikono yote kwa sababu wewe mwenyewe umesema mara nyingi kuwa wewe si president ya watu fulani wale walikupigia kura na wala ambao hawakukupigia kura wote ni wako nashukuru maubiri ambaye lisisitiza mambo ya tolerance viongozi lazima tuwe na tolerance na kwa hakika tunashukuru wewe kwa kuja kwa hii maombi kwa sababu ilikuweko intolerance nyingi sana ambayo imefanyika you must protect your subjects kama kuna nyoka nyoka awe ni nyoka wa whatever crisis awe ni nyoka wa kiuchumi awe ni nyoka wa kikabila awe ni nyoka wa kijamii awe ni nyoka wa sampli gani lazima umshike kupitia kichwani ili wale unaowaongoza wawe salama kutokana na sumu ya nyoka yule that one you must do as a leader you must protect your subjects from any form of harm economical spiritual uh, tribal whatever kind of uh, of harm it is your obligation to protect your subjects from because you are also a subject of the most high lord you will always have rebels in any government but that one isiwe ni sababu ya wewe kukasirika kushikwa na amaki we mdosi i'm telling you and all other leaders here wakati unachokorwa chokorwa is not a reason enough ya wewe kuchemka you must be tolerant you lazima you must entertain the highest degree of patience you must be patient hawa watu wacha hii mambo ya sufuria some of them wanaweza hata kuanza mambo ya subversion ai maswala ya treason you must treat carefully because you are answerable to the most high lord that stuff nataka ni kuombeni viongozi viongozi wa tabaka zote tafadhali we must unite our subjects we must unite the citizens it does not matter which party it doesn't matter which tribe hayo ndio maongozi ambayo yule bwana mkubwa tangu alipoona moto alikuwa ni mwenye kuwa trained and you must hold that training unajua tarehe 13 if i kama sijasahau ilikuwa tarehe 13 mwezi wa tisa mwaka 2022 hapo ilikuwa saa sita nafikiri dakika 52 some gentleman somewhere eh pia alikuwa anafanyiwa the same thing akachukua akabeba juu hivi tukaona that one is a symbolic staff of moses and you must ensure that you use it as per the instructions of the most high lord ukienda kinyume time mambo itaharibika ndani ya Kenya you must use it prudently hiyo tarehe 13 i don't know whether some of you people remember kuna you call it sword it's not a sword it is a symbolic staff that one the that swearing in ndio inashabihiana na ile moto ambayo aliona and the enthronement of that young guy lazima tuketi pamoja tujenge nchi yetu lazima tuketi pamoja tushughulikie wananchi lazima tuwape wote ambao wamepata nafasi akiwa MCA akiwa governor akiwa mbunge akiwa rais wa nchi nafasi ya kuwafanyia watu kazi Another time will come wale wanataka kukombiti filimbi itapigwa 
na ikilia waingie uwanjani but for now let's focus singularly on resolving the challenges that face our country if we all work together those challenges will be much lighter to resolve if we pull in different directions the challenges will magnify and become even insurmountable we have set aside funds for the construction of Busia Stadium which will be starting very soon at Mekubaliana na Gavana we are working very closely with the governor that in the shortest time possible the construction of Busia Stadium will start so we are well watu wa Busia tusimame na rais wetu Mundu Humundu hii Busia ni kaunti kama Kisumu hii Busia ni kaunti kama Siaya hii Busia ni kaunti kama Homabay hii Busia sio koloni ya kaunti nyingine yoyote na ni lazima tuheshimu viongozi wetu wote akiwemo huyu governor Otuoma wa hapa afanye kazi na rais kwa minajili ya maendeleo ya watu wa hapa Teso na Busia wenyeji wetu ndugu zetu ambao wako kwa media tafadhali Kenya is not at war with any of its neighbors. In fact, Mheshimiwa Rais is on the front line kuleta amani katika eneo hii. Mataifa yanayumba yumba yanapigana na Rais wetu William Samoi Ruto yuko kwa mstali wa mbele kuhakikisha kwamba amani inarejea katika hizi mataifa kwa sababu vita kule vitanyamelea hapa. Kwa hivyo nataka niombe tu wale ambao wanaandika. Kwa sababu tulikuwa pahali tukaona oh wanasema kuna vita imetokea hapa, kuna kasoro hapa, kuna kasoro hapa. Please media there is no problem with our neighbors in so far as Kenya is concerned and if there are any issues they are normally solved diplomatically tuko kenya ni demokrasia kuna wakati wa kila kitu kuna wakati wa kufanya siasa ya kuchaguliwa na kuna time pia ya kusema wale wamepewa nafasi wapewe nafasi ya kutosha kuweza kufanya hiyo kazi wakati ukifika mtu wananchi watawauliza maswali hiyo ndio inafaa iwe namna hiyo lakini ukipata kwamba unachaguliwa leo Alafu tena kesho unaanza kuchosha wananchi na maneno na wewe huko na ofisi na kazi yako ni kutatua zile shida ambazo wananchi wametupatia amini wame, wana, wanazo na wametupa nadhifa za uongozi kushughulikia